Hello and welcome to my channel, Scotland Mushroom Forensic and Fishing. Today I want to share with you something different. How to make elderflower concentrate. We just out for a walk and discovered the elderflowers have just started to flower. So you can see here, the flowers are open. The best time to pick it is actually when the sun is shining, but as there is rain forecast, it has to do today. So we're going to pick some flowers and then we see you in the kitchen. Ah, to our elderflower, as the name suggests, it comes from the elder tree. So in one of my previous videos, I explained how to identify elder trees, but I will show you again. So if you break up a little branch and in the center it is spongy there's a, like the core is spongy not solid so this is one of the features of an elder tree when there's no leaves or anything yeah it is actually the center is spongy so yeah so we see you in the kitchen and we show you the next step we're back now in the house and we show you the next step of with the elder flower concentrate. So the next step would be, of course, to give them a rinse. With washing. Right, we're going to do with, with all the rest and then we we'll be back in shortly. Right, so we, we rinsed all the flowers and we got about, about 20 pots of flowers in there and the ratio is mixed with one liter of boiling water. So that will be the next step. Yeah, bef before that, sorry, uh, we gonna squeeze in one lemon and two oranges, and then we add uh, the one liter of water. Okay, we added the lemon, uh, lemon or lime juice and orange juice, and now we add the water. One liter. One liter. Uh, and now we're going to cover it and leave it for 12 hours, approximately. And yeah, we we'll see you later when this. It's done, and then we go to the next step. Okay, here we go, a few, 12 hours plus later. So we're just going to fish out the um, flowers and stalks, and then uh, we show you the next step. Yes, you have to do with yeah. it. Okay, now we're going to drain everything. Right, now we're going to filter it even finally get all the fine bits out. You can use cheesecloth or any type of fine sieve or net. It's just to catch the small particles. There could be some small flies or things like that. So just want to drain all this out. Huh? Yeah. I don't know if you can see, there might be some small flies there. So I'm just going to drain it all out. And then we... But also I want to mention, when we add the sugar soon, you don't have to do ex exactly ratio as we do. You just do it to your taste as you as you like it. Sweeter or not as sweet. So, okay, back in a minute. Right, now we just add the sugar. It's, it's around about like 900 gram to a kilogram per liter, liter and a half. 
of water, so you just have to do it to your own taste. So we just gotta reheat it, and so the sugar dissolves. And see you soon. Uh, right, to store your liquid, ideally you use some jars or whatever, uh, but you need to sterilize them. We sterilize them just with steam in the microwave for a minimum of six minutes and the lids just put into boiling water for about six minutes. So yeah, so you can keep them uh, securely and fresh in the jars. But also the magic is when you heat up your liquid with the sugar is not to let it to come to a rolling boil. So there's a good chance it might turn cloudy. So you just wait until it's starting to boil or you can see start bubbles coming up and then uh, we switch it off. So it's, it's only to bring up, bring it up and uh, the temperature and melt the sugar. So of course uh, the best is to pick the elderflower on a sunnier day. Uh, it just produces more flavor, pure and simple. A nice sunny day, but that should be right. So right there, uh, we can see some bubbles coming up. So I think that is to the time to uh, switch it off. Mm -hmm. So now just fill up the glass, the sterilized glasses. I won't show you all of them. I'm just going to show you one. Now you just let it cool down and then you're ready. That's from an earlier batch. So while the elder flowers are there and coming, so then we're gonna make some more. So yeah, I, I like mine with fruit juice and fizzy water, nice and cold, and just tip a little bit of elderflower juice in there and it tastes really 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 nice. Uh, let's have a sip. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you really can taste the elderflower. Or even preferable with apple juice. Oh, really nice. So I hope you found it useful. Any questions, leave them in the comments. And until something else comes up, uh, see you later. Bye.